Well, Danny, first of all, how good is it to have a full week of training this week? Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's come at a really good time for, for everybody, really, to, to have the full week, um, to get on the grass with the players, to get to, to build relationships. For, for Nicky and I, it's always, you know, to try to build a relationship, build a trust. Once the players start to know that you have their best interests at heart, then you can start to add to their to their game. And it's been a, it's been a, been a valuable week. It's been some, some good, good time on the training field and... Again, I go back to the players' attitudes. Um, re- really humble, really, really hardworking, um, really keen to learn. So no, it's been a, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a good start. You said around the Ipswich game that you didn't want to overload them with information. Now that you've had a bit more time, what sort of things have you and Nicky been able to implement, and how's the, how have the players responded to that? No, I think I think that's really important. I think the skill for for Nicky and I is to is to prioritise what what where the quick wins are um, and where we can get some 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 major gains in terms of performance and and yeah that's what that's certainly what we've been trying to do this week um, just really for us it's always about our principles and concepts uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing against you know for us our principles and the way we want the game to play be played is is, is very clear and we want that fast attacking aggressive style um, both in possession and 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 and, and obviously out of possession. So, um, so no, we've been trying to, to, to embed that and it's really just to get that joined up thinking with the players so, so that we can all see the game through the same, same lens. Um, and, and yeah, ultimately, all the work we do on the training field is, is just to help the players to try, you know, uh, our aim is always to make them better, um, but, but really just to, to help the players and connect up some of those partnerships and relationships to, to hopefully set the team up to be successful. Looking ahead to Saturday, what do you know about Shrewsbury and what sort of preparation have you been doing for them? Well, I think firstly, I'd, I'd just like on behalf of everyone at Portsmouth Football Club just to wish Steve Cottrell well. Um, Steve's not someone that I, that I know particularly well, but I know that he um, he loves football and, and anyone that loves football is, all, is always all right by me. And uh, he's obviously been through a really, really tough time. Um, so I just wanted to send our, our, um, our support to him. Um, and, and like I said, not just from, from Nicky and myself, but everybody associated with the club. And we wish him, we wish him good health moving forward. Yeah, and he has done a fantastic job this season in difficult personal circumstances. And Shrewsbury have gained a bit of reputation for beating some of the big teams in this league. So I'm sure you won't be underestimating them. No, no, definitely not. I think he's done an incredible job in him really testing in the most testing circumstances and credit to himself and his staff for, for, for doing that and, and, and getting through this difficult period as well as they have. Our ambition is always, you know, we're Portsmouth Football Club, our ambition every week is to, is to win, you know, and we will always set the team up to, to, to try to win. Um, you know, I think you often as a manager get asked about objectives and goals for the team. Um, I think a really nice goal for our team is to try to, to start every week and with the, with the ambition to win the game at the end of the week. Um, so, so that's certainly what we'll be, be looking to do, but we won't be un- underestimating shoes. We, I think they're, they're a, um, a very good team. They've had some fantastic results against the, the top teams in the division, the Peter Bowers, the Sunderlands, Drew with Hull just recently. They obviously got a good win midweek, which we which we were able to watch. Um, so we're we're clear on 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 shoes. We we understand how they want to play. Um, they are very very good at a defensive transition. They fill up very quickly with a back five. Um, they they make it difficult for you to penetrate through that back five. And I think the the, the great challenge for us is that we've got to find 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 some ways and try to give the the, the group some ideas on how we can create chances because probably. In recent times, that has been a, a been a challenge for the group, and we spent a lot of week, a lot of time this week looking at our our, our our chance creation. Yeah, and speaking of creating chances, you may well be at without John Marquis, Ellis Harrison, and Ronan Curtis through injury and international duty. Do you feel like you still have the the attacking options that you need? No, we have some challenges. There's no there's, there's no doubt at the top end of the pitch, um, but we also have some really good players and. Um, I think it's, it's, easy, it's, it's easy for managers to make excuses about about injuries and about unavailability, but I, I'd much rather be a be a positive person and, and and look at what I do have and what we do have is um is is some really good players, um some fantastic quality at, at the top end with, with with Ryan Williams, with Marcus Harness, um, with Michael Jacobs, um, you know, George Bias, Harvey White. 
so so we have we have we have we have lots of good players at, at this football club and and like I said we won't be the only club that particularly in an international break that has some issues with regards to uh, international duty I think excuse me lose their goalkeeper to, to, to Serbia under 21s um, and we won't be the only team in this condensed season with some with some injury issues and the job for all of us is to try to find a way to overcome that. And in terms of more positive injury news, it was good to see Callum Johnson back out on the grass. Is he in contention for Saturday's game? Yeah, well, it was really good to, to, to see Callum on the grass. Obviously, he wasn't able to train with us at the back end of last week, um, but he has been able to train with us this week. We think a lot of Callum. He's, um, he's a fantastic athlete, um, very, very good offensively, um, but also you know knows knows his responsibilities from a defensive perspective so he's a he's a really good young player um, and and again I, I look at him and we think that that, 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 that there's some add-ons that we can make and and already we've had some really good conversation with the players um, trying to get to understand them trying to get to know them like I said trying to build that level of trust and respect um, and I think once you do that and the players start to realize that you only have their very best interests at heart then they become really open-minded and and really keen to learn from you and for us we always try to look at the players we never worry about what they can't do we always worry, worry about what they can do and we look to try to add to that and um, that's certainly what we've been trying to do with all the players. Just finally on a personal note it's just over or just under a week since you arrived on the south coast how have you and Nicky been settling in? Yeah, we settled in really, really well. We moved out of the hotel, moved into a flat. Um, we've, we've, it's been pretty much 24-7 for us, which is exactly how we like, we, we like it. Um, and do you know what? Just met some really, really good people at this football club. And that naturally, as a consequence of meeting really good people, um, you naturally are able to settle in that much quicker. And the, and the support around us has just been brilliant. And the fact that we've got a a really good group, really honest, hard-working, professional boys that, 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 that their only ambition is to, to want to do well for this football club um, has, made it, has, made it, has made it really easy and had the chance last night to go and see the academy, had to keep our distance a little bit because of obviously the, the world we're living in at the moment, but it was great to watch the, the young players play. I think we watched them, the under nines, the under tens and the under elevens and then stayed and watched the, the older groups, the 12s, 13s and 14s and it was lovely to see their, their energy and their, their passion for the game um, and, 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 and also to watch the coaches work with the young players in, in trying to make them better. So, so no, we've um, just tried to Im immerse ourselves in, in, Portsmouth, in, in Portsmouth life really and uh, we know that the quicker we can do that, the quicker we can get to understand the people. Um, because ultimately it's the people's football club and the quicker we get to understand them and what they want, then hopefully the quicker we can, we can find some success and, and put some smiles on Portsmouth supporters' faces. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Dan.